Our next award is the Athena Award sponsored by KPMG. Now in its 18th year, the Athena Award celebrates achievements of one outstanding woman or man in the community, recognized for business and professional excellence in community service, and for mentoring and encouraging women to achieve their leadership potential. This year's Athena Award is University of Windsor Lancers women's basketball coach Chantelle Vallée. A leader, mentor, and coach of a now two-time women's basketball CIS championship team. I wasn't coming here to try to do my best. I was coming here to gather people around a common vision that was, we are going to win a national championship. It's not so much about X's and O's. In the end, um, you need to be knowledgeable about your sport, yes, but it is not what makes you win championship. It really is about uh, the relationship you develop with your athletes, changing the mentality and philosophy of the program, recruiting the athletes or retaining those that we thought could go through that change. And, and from there, um, establishing a culture of great expectation and a culture of excellence. We are good. We are the better team. And I really believe from the bottom of my heart that you are the toughest team. Windsor at the time was, uh, was not doing the best. It was actually um, intriguing to me uh, because I had done all my master's degree on how to turn around a program, what makes coaches successful. When I came in, for example, there was no much weightlifting with the players, no drill and training, no running, no conditioning, no standards. So we established all these standards. Bye, Bob. During her interview process, I think she, uh, she showed uh, you know, everything that she was capable of. Uh, the passion, the energy, and things of that nature that uh, uh, I guess all proved to be true. As a head coach, you're, uh, you're everything from soup to nuts. You're the, the counselor, you're the academic advisor, you're the recruiter, you're a fundraiser. Uh, I've heard Chantel describe herself as, as the mother of the team. The marketing side of it, the business side of it, uh, the selling side of the program, the recruiting, the retaining, all those qualities that I didn't know that the coach required until I researched it and I had to put it in place to become successful. I was just a young girl, 17, uh, playing some basketball in Alberta, and uh, someone came, approached my parents in the crowd. Uh, she had a dream, she had a vision, she wanted to change things at the University of Windsor for women's basketball, and I think uh, I just really appreciated someone wanting to do something different, and uh, you know, the underdog dream story. Who doesn't want to be a part of something like that? We now have a profile across Canada, whereas before we didn't even have it within Ontario, or basically the city of Windsor. The, the prestige and the profile of the university just having the national championship to begin with, but the fact that we won it while we were hosting the national championship was phenomenal, not only for the university, but for the city of Windsor itself. The dream season is complete. Home, sweet home. Windsor Lancers. The fact that we are on TSN, live uh, television broadcast, coast to coast in a magnificent game, and the setting here, the venue and the fan base that showed up for that championship, it just reflected really well on the, on the city and what we're capable of as a whole. I have to say, it was a little bit of mixed feelings. I wish I could say it was extraordinary, but it also meant for me the end of that vision, the end of this is all we worked for for six years. How do I feel about that? It was really on the floor. Uh, I had a hard time smiling. Um, I had a hard time feeling happy because I was almost sad. Like, did it mean that now I'm not, am I gonna continue to coach? Am I, what's next? It's a tough profession, it really is, because it's a seven day a week, uh, almost a, a 20 hour a day type responsibility. And Chantel has, has uh, been 110% in this thing since she's gotten here and deserves all the credit that she's received. Chantel's ability to to reach out to the community and reach out to the university and females as a whole 
and just bringing the profile and the recruits to the city of Windsor and to the University of Windsor made a significant impact. I think my players into high school assemblies, clinics, 100% of the time somebody asks me, can you come speak, can you come to a clinic, can you bring your players, I always 100% of the time say yes unless we have a game. We have to give back. I take this opportunity because I think it, it's important that, that we are visible and that we act as a role, role models in this way. The community support and the winner community came around is probably the reasons the reason why after winning I felt a little sad because I've always was very busy. I'm gonna come here, get this done and, and move out and then I, I, I can't. I this is a very special community and they have embraced uh, me, it's allowed me to be successful, they've embraced my team, they've embraced the program, and I feel like this is a really good place to be. And that's such a, that's so important when, when you're a young professional that uh, you see the communities behind you, and I certainly feel that, so I have to say that they did a pretty good job, uh, you know, grabbing my heart there, so <laughs> that's good. KPMG would like to congratulate this year's Athena Award winner, Chantal Ballet. Actually, I wanted my team to come um, with me uh, here on stage. Thank you to KPMG for sponsoring the award and for Empire Communications for allowing my players to be here tonight by sponsoring their tickets. Uh, um, it's, uh, it's really an honor for me to be here amongst the uh, Windsor Essex uh, Business Chamber of Commerce, best uh, leader, best businesses. Uh, it is, um, I've always considered the coaching work as a little bit of business in terms of, of leadership and, and decision that, uh, that we have to make. And uh, I have been impressed that a few of you already try to pick uh, my brain and say, well, what do you do? How, how do you bring your team to win? And, and, and maybe, you know, there's some similarities between business and coaching. I said, yes. When people don't produce, you just make them run. So. <laughs> um, but uh, uh, all jokes aside, um, I wanted my team to be here because uh, they are the reasons uh, why we have become successful. It is one thing to, to be a leader, but to have um, outstanding women of character that decide every day. We do see each other every day for several hours during the day, and they choose uh, to uh, come to practice and perform and learn about uh, hard work, because it is extremely hard and extremely difficult to become Canadian champion, never mind doing it twice. And these women have chosen to attend the University of Windsor, represent our city and our community by working hard every day uh, how many times do they go to the gym at 5.55 uh, a.m., 6.45 a.m., and then they see me again during the day, and then they train again at night? All this for a common vision. Uh, what is the most outstanding is that all these women learn life skills through playing basketball. They learn how to become champion, how to have a vision for excellence, how to work with teammates, how to understand their roles, how to perform, how to, to have commitment for each other. and. Um, if you were any uh, uh, great leaders in business, which you are, I would start to headhunt them right away because if you want your business to be one of the best, uh, they know how to be the best in Canada. So thank you very much and thank you for my team. I love you girls. Thank you for playing for me. Thank you.